Hello everyone, welcome to HTML Basics Tutorial Episode 4. Today we're going to be focusing on inputs. So the first input we're going to go over is what we call a radio button, and this is this true or false selection right here. Uh, we'll show you how you can select multiple or just do make sure that you do one or the other. This checkbox works a little bit differently. You'll be able to check multiple things off. Um, this is what is your age, and this is a number input. So if I text, put in text, it will not work. Um, if I put in a number, it will, and I can use the arrows, and it, I put in also a max and minimum number, max 99, and then this is a drop-down selection, so you can click and choose which one you want to select, and also a date to finish it off. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I just wanted to mention that I have all of my code that I've written down for these HTML basics all in one file. And when we get onto more advanced topics, I'll probably start a new web page. But having everything in one spot for me makes the most sense. Now, if you wanted to uh, teach yourself about headings and have that be a separate file and forms and input uh, into a separate file, that's absolutely fine. I just find it easier to have all the basics uh, in one area and then we'll move on when we get to a little bit more advanced topics. But um, what we're gonna talk about now is uh, what we call a radio button. And a radio button actually is one of those little uh, circles with a button and you can see a little dot inside of it. Uh, and here is an example of what it will look like over here when we're done. And so um, you see it right there and you will do input uh, type and it's gonna be radio and HTML5 is not case sensitive, so you can capitalize radio with no problem. And then um, it will also have a name that we need to give it. And so name will equal uh, true or false. So now we're gonna create a value equals, and this is for the server side. Uh, we'll go over how to record that later and store it into the server. But for now, um, just leave it blank. And then you put true. And then let's go ahead and do a, a line break. And we'll go input type equals radio. Name equals. And you need to make this the exact same. Yeah, the exact same as the name up here and I'll tell you why in a second once again value equals blank and this will be false now the reason why we need to have this be the exact same is because if we control s and then restore this page it will pop up two blanks and this dot will change you can't select both it's either true or false and so if I just change one letter in there um, and it control s and refresh this um, you would be able to select both of them because they are different names and so they're in different categories and so um, The value would be stored in the server, but they're they're just different They're They can you can think of them as entirely separately if you have them as different names and now they are the same name So they're the same uh, Thing of the same attribute. Okay, and so that's how you create a radio wave radio button um, Now we are going to talk about check box and so you'll be able to do a checkbox button so in order to have a text box you need to have um, something that you're comparing and so um, we can say what is your favorite subject in school and we'll have that be let's have it be an h4 tab a little bit smaller but still a heading here okay um and so input type equals checkbox name equals. So since the nature of a checkbox is you can click on multiple, um, you don't need to give it a name because uh, no matter what, it's going to be checked. So in this situation, you wanted to give it a name so that you could only click on true or false. Um, but we should be able to click on as many as we want and either and so we don't have to give it a value either the name alone will either say it's checked or not but that's on the server side as well so 
Um, favorite subject in school, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and make four copies of this and try to line this up for us. And we can say math, break, English, break, computer science, or gym. Okay, and so if I save that and I refresh, I have, what is your favorite subject in school? Math, English, computer science, gym. And you can click and you can click on these and get check, bar, check boxes set up. Okay. Now I'm gonna talk about how to create a number uh, input. And so go ahead and put number input. And you can just type in input tab um, and put number. Go. Uh, no name is fine uh, for now. That'll be on the server side once again. And so uh, we should probably prompt the user to tell us what we want them to say. And so we can just do H4 again and we could say, what is your age? And then um, you can do something along these lines and control S and your age, you could put years of age, you could put age before probably would be better. Uh, control S. Okay, so here I can, can't can type in any letters, but if I typed in 35, that would work, but also that would work and we don't necessarily want that. So we want a minimum and a maximum for our age. So let's say we want to have a minimum for our age and we can have that equal one and then a maximum for our age and that can equal 99. And now if we go and save, refresh, we have a little arrows and now it's very difficult to see. But if you zoom in a little bit, you can see you have some arrows here, and this can go all the way up to 99, okay? And it doesn't go any higher than that. If you typed in numbers, it can go higher, but with the arrows, it can't go any higher than that. Now we're gonna talk about uh, not a checkbox, but it's similar to that, but we're only gonna be able to select one, and it's just going to be a drop-down list. Um, and we're gonna call it a drop-down selection. Okay, and so with the drop down selection, you will create a select tag and you will create options. So option tag and we're gonna go ahead and create, well, let's do four options here. And we can call them and inside of here, you need to give uh, name equals and we give each option a name so that uh, when we go to the server side, we will have selections on which op option we're talking about because we can't have multiple selected. We're just gonna be able to choose one. And so option name could be coding one with green foot and name equals coding two with eclipse. Name equals AP comp psi principles and name equals AP computer science A. And I'm going to create one more since there is one more class that I offer at the high school I teach at. And that would be coding practicum game development with Unity. 
which I plan on having a course up on that later on. Okay, and so now we control S, um, and now we need to actually have some uh, those options. So we need to copy and paste those over. So let's do a copy, paste. And then control S, and we will check out what that looks like. Okay, we have the different options here. And yeah, we probably should have um, right above it um, a line break after that. And then we should have a, an H4, which class are you in? Okay, and so um, we can have another line break, control S and check out this formatting a little bit. And what, which class are you in? And you can make your selection. Okay. So I'm actually gonna take away this break. Don't think it looks quite as put together as those that need to show that they're a little bit more connected. Okay, so which classes are you in? Which class are you in? Um, and then we are gonna go ahead and do a break. And we're going to talk about uh, dates. Uh, creating a date input. So we have our date. Um, and so we can have our header and say, what is the current date? And we can create another input. Um, what type, it's a date. And we can have this be today. Okay, and then we'll do Control S, then Control R to reload the page, and you'll see that you have month, day, year. You can flip this as a max all the way up to 12, and then it resets. This goes all the way up to 31, and it resets. So um, those are a few of the inputs that we're going to use. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please feel free to like the page and I always appreciate it if you subscribe as well and don't forget to click the bell so you don't miss the next episode. Thanks.